Hey, what's up everybody, Mark here, and I wanna apologize first off for not being active on the page here. Unfortunately, my mom had passed recently and we were spending time with her uh, when that was coming up. But I have a trip up today. We are going to head up to Georgia. Uh, we're gonna see if Autopilot can go from Daytona Beach to Georgia. If you'd like to join along, let's go. So in this drive here, what I wanna do is I wanna customize everything that I have for Autopilot. We're gonna customize Navigate on Autopilot, Mad Max, Enables Trip, and Lane Change Notification is going to be off. Let's see what it says. Uh, we got that, Mad Max, require lane change confirmation. We're going to turn that off. Uh, yes, I'm sure I want to. And lane change notification, we're going to turn that off. I want to see what this car does. I mean, I'll know that it's going to be changing lanes. It puts on the signal for you, so I do get some notification. But our challenge today is to see if I can get all the way from Daytona Beach to Jacksonville. There is some construction up there and I believe a few checkpoints for the uh, uh, coronavirus stuff here. So. Uh, we got navigation. We're going to do um, that. We're going to avoid tolls, that online routing, safety and security. We don't need anything there. And driving, we're going to put it into standard for the steering mode. And so that I can conserve some energy, I think acceleration, I'm going to put to chill. May not do anything there. Hold still active. And we're going to Ulee, Florida, right up to Georgia. So we just crossed over like 20,000 miles and I've been so happy about uh, the car. There's a, you know, a few things that with any car, even my Ford truck that uh, you know, I don't really care about or don't like, but for the most part, this car has been super awesome. I recommend it. I just wish they would get some of their uh, quality control done, you know, the paint uh, comparatively to uh, most of the other cars that I've ever had or even the, the car that I've painted myself was ultimately a, a, a thicker paint and not a better paint job, but just a thicker paint. And it was more resistant to cracks and and chips and ding. So let's get on autopilot. And the version that I'm on is 2020.12.1, as you can see there. We just got that update just recently. Not really anything different except for a bunch of you know bug fixes and whatnot. It appears that the screen where the radar display is and everything like that is a little bit more responsive, but other than that, I really don't know. So today for this trip, we got the scooter in the back. Uh, we've got the drone and some other stuff over here. Uh, I've got a project to head up to do in Georgia there, and I want to. Um, I want to bring you guys along with me. So my goal again today is not to touch, not to change any settings, but just let autopilot do its thing and get us there without getting kicked out of autopilot. That's my bad habit too. keep my hand on the steering wheel. Even though I'm paying attention, sometimes I'll just rest my hand there and it gets lighter and lighter. And uh, yeah, that's that. So I just got some new floor mats in here. Um, I bought some that were like $75 before. They were like the, they were like carpet ones but really, uh, really thin, really low quality, but it was a cheap, easy fix to get them right away for like 75 bucks for the fronts and the back, you know, that goes across the back back there. So uh, I had to take them and kind of throw them away. I, I didn't want to, but ultimately uh, we had some issues with them. They just don't cover enough. So we got something that's very similar to like a WeatherTech, uh, the links in the description. And I also got a video coming out showing all about the 20,000 mile checkup. So check that out. You'll see that in either the card above or in the description below. So leave it down in the comments. I want to know what you think. Do I get kicked out of autopilot once or none? So today's trip, when we get up to Yulee, Florida, we're going to be with uh, 24%, 25% now of range. And uh, there's a supercharger in Kingsland, which is north of there. And there's one in Jacksonville. So I might have to make the trek up to Kingsland to to get charged back up up there. We'll see once we get there. I always do those things that are called uh, will it autopilot. And this is one of them right here. This little road, this section, autopilot usually freaks out here and I haven't tried it in a while. Let's see if it does. Maybe a minor improvement, but it would usually really jerk really hard there. Uh, that was a light movement left and right. Um, that's a little bit better. I haven't taken it to my spot yet, but we will soon. So it tends to speed up here. I'm going to try and... Yeah, it's going really fast. I didn't do that. It's it's on its own? Wow. A little rough on that one. For some reason on this on ramp, right before it gets on Navigate on Autopilot, it does that little freak out like that. It like accelerates, tries to get up to whatever speed it's trying to get to and causes that. There we go. We got our lane change. This is always a fun one getting on the interstate here. Very smooth on that one. And there are some times, if you've driven in a car, you've been in one, uh, there are times when it will mismanage those widening lanes like that, and it will bump you right over. Uh, but that time it was really smooth, which is really good here. All right, so our speed today is going to be 72 miles an hour. We're going to keep that offset of two. Um, 
try to maintain this middle lane here because the car will read both the outside lane and the inside lane of traffic. Uh, to me, this is the safest lane to be in, especially with oncoming traffic and you know merging vehicles like that. Oh, look at that. It's actually picking up some cars well back there. Once we get around this turn, it should you should see it again. That's always neat seeing that front side view like that. All right, so this trip is an hour and 39 minutes. So take a look at this time lapse of this trip on the way up there. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, so we just passed this truck back here and the lane change moving, it's been working flawlessly, getting over and out of the lane. Uh, on the previous versions, this wasn't the case. It would not work like this. When the car would move over into the middle lane and a surprise would pop up where that car was in the outside lane, the car would actually jerk over, but I think they fixed that with some software. It hasn't been doing that, which is really helpful and doing great here. So. One of the things I do want to tell you guys, if you haven't driven a car that just does lane keep assist and the adaptive cruise control, whether it be the Hyundai or the Cadillac that has their version of this, each one of them is such a game changer when it comes down to it. Uh, hopefully when, auto, when autopilot is complete and it gets its full self-driving, things are smoother and it's more intuitive, uh, we're going to see a, such a, a better uh, response of, of cars and turning and, and so on and so forth. But got that lane change there it is moving over and on the screen here you're going to see this merge and arrow pointing over there it goes so for whatever reason it's going to put us in this fast lane it probably just thought it needed to do that because we have some merging traffic over here they're going to be coming in whoa i don't know if you guys felt that but that was a big gust of wind all right there we go we're getting that lane moving over did a little bit later than I anticipated. I thought I was going to do a little bit earlier because uh, I just thought it would. But yeah, we're getting some really gusty winds. I wonder if we're getting rain coming in. And there we go. Look at this. We're uh, into the construction area. we got a right lane that ends 2,500 feet. Merge coming up. Traffic behind me is clear. Saw the merge lines. And there we go. I disconnected it or stopped it, it terminated it. And I was wondering if when it sees those arrows pointing over, does it does the computer actually know or say, hey, this is a merge lane? So it's gonna take me all the way to the end of it. It previously put the signal on back there, but now it's taking me all the way to the end of this merging lane. So there it is, changing lanes, pushing me over. Little slight tap of the brake. Oh wow. I was watching that, but it took me from all the way out there into the middle lane. I didn't uh, really like that. Let me uh, let me hop back over. So what it did is it, it combined those two lanes together. That's the only thing I can associate it with is it, as it's merging, it's like, oh, well, this is now a single lane and moving over. 
All right, so we'll move back over. Um, the only time I had to do it, so we got we got booted out of it. I mean, we're still on autopilot, but it we didn't do uh, we didn't let it do its thing. I mean, I could have stayed over there, but I wanted to get out of the way of the cars behind us there. Now I haven't been through here. This is all new construction, so we're uh, I'm hoping. Uh, hoping that it will get us over here. So we got uh, we got a car coming up from behind pretty quick. Seven tenths, four tenths of a mile. Ah, that may be why the car knew what it was doing. I my apologies. There we go. All right, we're gonna watch the speed. It's saying sixty. All right, took that well. 40 speed limit indicated over here. It's 55 on screen. All right, here we go. There we go, it was flashing on there. I don't know if you saw it, but it was like high grade curve or something along those lines. There, it brought us in. Oh, wow, I don't know if you just saw what happened there. We had a immediate takeover, and um, we're kicked out of Navigate on Autopilot right now because of poor weather detected, so that's going to be unavailable. This truck up here uh, that's on the right-hand side right now just basically had so much spray and so much wash on the outside of the truck there that it blinded all the cameras. I have a feeling once we get past this section here, we should be you know, a little bit better off with regards to... Um, weather. One trick that I've learned is that if you manually put your windshield wipers on and you put them on like a one or a two while you're getting uh, rains like this, the previous versions would put Navigate on Autopilot back on and work for you. But I don't see that happening right now for some reason. Let's see if we can pull up the radar and see what we're heading into. I don't even know to be honest with you. Now, our challenge that we did when we left was that we're going to let this thing navigate on autopilot the whole way. Well, due to the inclement weather, we can't do that. But it is still on autopilot. I just want to let you know that. So navigate on autopilot is not working. If it wasn't for this weather, we would be okay. And guess what? It is Florida. So navigate on autopilot needs to be able to work when it rains. Heavy. All right, hopefully this will load here and see what we got coming up. Reduce camera front visibility again. Let's put those wipers on auto now and see what happens. There we go. It still knew that we were departing the lane, which is great. Um, let's see if we can get back on. Cruise control is unavailable. Cruise control and autopilot are back on. Surprised I'm not going to hear hail here in a second because... That's a pretty sharp line. This is what we're currently going through right here, as you can see. This is nasty. I'm somewhere like right in, I don't know, right in there I think it is. Oh man, we may see hail here in a second. This doesn't feel good. Some heavy rains. Temperature drops pretty significantly. But the good thing about it, I'm not gonna lie, I've, oh, with exception when I'm near those trucks, no issues with autopilot. I'm feeling some slowing right now, which uh, probably because the car in front of us got my hand on the steering wheel here, as you guys can see. I think I'm gonna get off the interstate here at uh, 200 instead of going all the way down there. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're almost here. So will it navigate on autopilot the whole way? No, it didn't. But if it wasn't raining, we would be on uh, on the last leg here and it would have been fine. Uh, but the inconvenience of the rain didn't really cause much. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's uh, we made it 80 or 90% of the way, which is awesome. Uh, right now we have eight miles left and our, our total trip was, what was it, uh, 101, 101 miles? So uh, yeah, 90%, 92%, and we'll call it there. 
Yeah, I think we're good. I hope you guys appreciate this video here. Thanks for watching it. Those windshield wipers that I got are working good. Floor mats are gonna be even better if I have to get out and jump in here in the rain uh, because they curve around there. Like I said, you'll see those other videos like that. Uh, thanks for watching, like, and subscribing, and I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Rain! 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 <laughs>